not doing systems of inequalities yet. We're just doing linear inequalities, all right? So we're doing one piece of this. Write an equation in the form of y equals mx plus b if necessary. So if it's not in that form, you have to do that. By the way, you're also going to need an extra piece of paper. Graph the equation, all right? So you're going to graph the equation. Draw a solid line if the inequality has a less than or equal to or a less greater than or equal to sign. Number four, draw a dashed line if the inequality has just a less than or a greater than sign. This is a very important key here. You need to make sure you have the right kind of line drawn, all right? Because on the test, you'll need to make sure you choose the right kind of line um, for whatever inequality they give you. Pick a point that is not on the line to use as a test. The origin, 0, 0, is usually a good to use if it's not on the line. It's the easiest one to use. If the point makes the inequality true, shade that side of the line. If the point does not make that inequality true, shade the opposite side of the line. So here we go. We're going to graph y is less than or equal to 1. Okay, well, where is y1? On the y-axis, right, at 1? So, am I going to have a solid line or am I going to have a dotted line? Solid. And I am going to just go straight across because this says y is less than or equal to 1. Okay, so I'm going to have a solid line going across. There it is. It's beautiful. Now what I have to decide is what side of this line does, makes this statement true. So um, just for ease, because I'm going to be doing it all along, number one, I'm going to put y is less than or equal to 1. Okay. Remember, if it's not part of the line, we are going to use 0, 0, which is the origin. So for every x value, we would substitute 0. For every y value, we would substitute 0. So in this situation, we don't have an x. So all we're going to do is put 0 in for y and say 0 is less than or equal to 1. Is that a true statement? Yes. So I am going to shade the side that includes the point 0, 0. Well, guess where that is? It's all of this right in here, isn't it? Okay, so there's my answer. Boom, done. And you can get fancy and waste all that lead and shade it all. You can write me arrows that just indicate which way you would shade. That's fine, too. Whatever works for you, I can live with. Okay, so let's go to the next one. It says graph x is greater than or equal to negative 2. What kind of line is that going to be, horizontal or vertical? What? Vertical, because I'm going to cross the x-axis. So negative 2, I'm going to go to it. It says greater than. It does not say greater than or equal to. So you need to, not with that light, light pencil that some of you barely write with, you need to make sure that I can tell that it is a broken, dotted, what we call a dotted line. Okay, and that's why I like my number nine ink or number two pencils, the best two things you can use because that light stuff you can't tell, okay? And then we need to decide, is this a true, which side to graph? So I'm going to say number two. I'm going to put down x is greater than negative 2. I have uh, no y value, so I just substitute 0 for x. At, so 0 is greater than 2. Negative 2, I'm sorry. Is that true? So I'm going to shade what side? The right side or left side? What? The right side, because it's true, I want to include the point of the origin, because that was a true statement. So I'm going to do this side. So it would not include a point on this line, is what it's saying. So if the question asked you, would the graph of x is greater than negative 2, include the point negative 2, 1, 
The answer would be no, because that's what means it's not including anything that is on this line. That's why it's dotted. It doesn't say it equals negative 2. It says it's greater than negative 2. Okay? Got it? Let's turn the page. So, this one. Graph y is greater than or equal to 1 half x plus 3. So, what's my y-intercept? 3. Am I going to have a solid line or a dotted line? Solid. Solid line. So, I'm going to go... What is it? Rise over run. So up one and over two. Up one and over two. Up one and over two. I'm going to go down one and over two. Down one and over two. Down one and over two. And I've got a nice line here I can, and it's uh, going to be solid. So I'm going to make it solid. And it's going to kind of look like this. I will get pickier with these, making sure they're solid or dotted, making sure that they include wherever they cross the y-axis or the x-axis, whichever that might be. Um, so my question is on number three. y is greater than or equal to 1 half x plus 3. I'm still going to use, because it doesn't include my origin, I'm going to use my origin. So, because it's just easier. It's zeros, it wipes things out really fast. It's just really easy to use. I could use any point here or any point up here if I wanted to, okay, and see if it's a true or false statement. But the origin is the easiest thing to use, and this is why. If I plug 0 in for y is greater than or equal to 1 half times 0 plus 3, I don't have to do any math here, do I? Because it wipes it out. So 0 is greater than or equal to 3. Is that a true statement? No. Yes or no? No, it is false. So if it's false, I do not include the origin in my shading. So I'm going to have to go this way. Okay? Pretty simple, right? Yes, no, maybe so. You need to speak up, people. Okay? All right, let's do the next one. We're going to graph at 1, and we have a slope of 3, which means we have 3 over 1. So up 1, 2, 3 over 1, it's positive. Up 1, 2, 3 over 1, that's about as far as I can go. I'm going to go down 1, 2, 3, and over 1. 1, 2, 3, and over 1. Do I have a dotted line or a straight line? I have a dotted or a, I don't know, we call them dotted lines. So make sure it's nice and dark so we can tell that it's really dark, dotted. Otherwise, it'll start looking like it's hard to tell between the lines on the graph and the ones on there. Now I need to test and see. Now, this is really close to the origin, but did it include the origin? No. Okay. So, I could do number 4, and I could still use the origin. y is less than 3x plus 1. You know what? Let's just do one where we don't use the origin. So, what number, what number do you want me to check? Give me a coordinated point. It doesn't matter. Anything on this side or anything on this side. Give me a, any coordinate point you want to give me. Just name one. Come on. I got two, three. Okay. I would be careful just to make sure that you're not on the line. Okay? So, but that isn't on the line. So if I check two, three, I'm going to do my check with two, three. I've got three for y is less than three times two plus one, which gives me three is less than six plus one. 3 is less than 7. That is a true statement, correct? 
All right, so that means I have to include that I would include the side that includes the point two three. This is why zero is easier. Zero zero, it would be zero is less than three times zero plus one. Zero is less than one. Yes, it's a true statement. So do you see how much quicker it is when you use when you are able to use zero zero? Okay, that's why. So I can come over here and I know I'm going to be including this side. So I'm just going to shade however I want to shade. If I want to use lots of lead, I can make it nice and pretty. I could even use colors however I want to do it, but I don't want to waste any more of your time than I have to. Okay. All right. Remember that it has to be in slope intercept form in order for you to graph. Okay. So. First thing we've got to do before we even graph is get it in slope intercept form. 2y is less than or equal to 4x plus 6. Now one thing I need to remind you of, because some of you may have forgotten by now. When you divide to get y by itself by a negative number, what must you do to the inequality sign? Flip it. That's correct. Okay. So if you have forgotten that, go over here and where it says write the equation in the form if necessary and put a star and say if you divide by neg number flip in equality sign. Okay. If you don't do that, you will not get the right answer. There is no way you ever will. Okay. So you might want to write yourself that little reminder note. Okay. And I use lots of shorthand. If you, I, I need to start using text shorthand, huh? You guys would all understand that. If and then just write a U, and then I don't know. I'm not good at texting, so. Okay. So here we go. We're gonna get this to y equals. Well, the only thing I need to do is what? Divide by 2. I'm going to divide everything by 2. I end up with y is less than or equal to 2x plus 3. So I need to go graph this. Number 5, I'm going to start at my y-intercept of 3. Am I using a dotted or a, a, or, or a straight line this time? Straight, okay. I'm going to go up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. I'm going to go down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1. Ah, that's probably enough to get a nice line. And I'm going to make a nice straight line here. Nice and dark. Okay. All right, so now I need to decide, and since it doesn't go through the origin and it's not even close, I know for sure it doesn't go through the origin, I'm just going to use 0, 0 as my check. 0 is less than or equal to 2 times 0 plus 3. 0 is less than or equal to 3. Is that true? Yeah. Okay, so it's true. So I am going to shade the side that has the origin. Okay. And then we're going to go do the last one. In fact, why don't you do the last one all on your little own self, and then you can check it with mine, and I will then have a discussion with you. Number six, three, seven, when you uh, have to take X from the left side and bring it over to the right side, my suggestion is that you um, always put your X first so that your slope is in the right place and you're used to it. Um, and remember that that has a 1, so you might have wanted to put a 1 in front of there, um, just so you remember. So, positive 3, I've got a negative slope this time. So, up 1 over 1, up 1. And this is what we do.
this is nice. It ended up with none of them using the origin. So we don't have to make a decision. Students lots of times just like to start skipping step steps. You guys, for the most part, are okay. I know if you're using the origin, it's going to automatically wipe this out. You would be able to say to yourself, oh, zero is greater than three. But for the most part, you know, it's better if you actually do the work and check it yourself so that you don't make what I call stupid mistakes. That's what I got. And there is my work. <laughs>